Okay. Uh, welcome in the <coughs> intangible room, as we learned yesterday evening. Uh, I was, it was funny to hear that this section, this room is, is named to be the intangible, you know, tangible heritage and intangible. So this heritage is intangible, but audible, so this is the concept. Uh, and actually I'm, I'm feeling home here because this is the institute, uh, the recent building where my institute, IAS, Institute of Advanced Studies in Kursen, <coughs> is taking place. So, so this is a double welcome <laughs> in the intangibles and, and, and in the IAS as well. Uh, so I've been researching here for, uh, for two years. So this is our third year here. Uh, in, in this interdisciplinary uh, institute, and uh, <coughs> and uh, my task or my idea or my hobby here, uh, since I'm since I'm a musician, I teach at the Academy of Music. I sing, I I run choirs, I play the piano, I compose music, and so on. Uh, and I'm recently here uh, studying the music heritage of of this little. Uh, city and, uh, and trying to, to give new opportunities, new, new ways, new, new perspectives to locals and tourists, what to do or especially what to hear in Kursen. Uh, <clears throat> there is a very strong musical tradition here in this city. Uh, if we go back to the, the last and last century, uh, the 19th century, we find that, well, yes, as everywhere in, in Europe that time, uh, uh, musical guilds or music makers' guilds was, was formed. So it was the same in Kursag as well. Uh, what catches, catches my mind or my ear, the name of this music makers' guild in Hungarian is called Hongas. It's, it's a very special, uh, unusual Hungarian word. Hong is is sound. Usually the music makers guild is zene, zene is music, but somehow they started to, to call it hongas. Hongas means who deals with sound in general. Of course they, they uh, told that we call hongas who are making music, who sounds the instruments perhaps, okay? But this, this name was very interesting for us because here uh, our, our uh, mission is twofold. We want to make music and we want to listen to the sound, the sound environment in general of the city because we think that these two makes the sounding identity of a city in the past, in present in, and in the future as well. So therefore we uh, founded this uh, new Hongas Egyesület uh, as Collegium Sonorum. So this is the Latin translation of Hongas, and yes, you like Music Makers Guild, or a son, you know, sonic. Well, this is something like a sonic college. Everything which sounds uh, are very welcomed in this uh, Collegium in Ajax. So the question is, can a city find its identity in its sound? So if we go uh, back in time, 100 years, this is the Hangas Edda, the Music Makers Guild's uh, uh, golden age, uh, at the turn of the 19th and 20th century, uh, again, around in all Europe, everyone was making music, even in Hungary, even in Kursag. So, yeah, they were in the Music Makers Guild, they were in the, I mean, the civilians or the citizens, they were in the church choirs, they they formed ensembles, they wrote music, they published music, they taught music, they learned music. So music was an, it was about 22, it was on everyday uh, basis. And, uh, and it's not anymore. Though uh, recent uh, music life in Kursag is still very rich, as you could hear yesterday evening, with a huge brass band, with a proper uh, string ensemble, and then there is still choir and music school. But if we, if we go into houses, of course we are not allowed to go into private houses, I think it's different because that time, even in private houses, there were assemblies for making music, for listening music. Uh, 
you may find in, in uh, historical newspapers that uh, family music events was held and announced. So this is that maybe we could uh, bring back more into a city, city's life because it was their identity. I'm making music and therefore I'm a proud Cossack citizen because I'm making music and I'm writing music and I'm, I'm knowing my neighbor who is even the mayor of the city, but I know him that he is very good at playing the violin. Another mayor of the city, because we have uh, data for that, was composing songs. Okay? Uh, yes, if we go back more in time, in 300 years, there is a foundation of the uh, tower guards, guarding the tower, uh, comes with playing the brass instruments for giving signs when uh, the post is, is arriving into the city or fire emerges somewhere. So this is again a sound of a city uh, since, since ever. You know, the horns uh, and the bells are giving you signs. And this is a sonic uh, language, a city. And if you go back uh, 500 years, there is an iconic sound of Kursek, the 11 o'clock bell. You will hear it. Uh, all around Europe, at 12 o'clock, there is the bell. This is, uh, this is for Hungary, where they defeated the Turks. But in Kursek, they defeated the Turks here. You, you, know, you see the date. So this is the exact time of the retreat of the Turkish army. Uh, on the given day. So therefore there is two bell signs in, in, in Kursek and the 11 o'clock sign is well it, 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 uh, it is an homage to the identity or, or survival of the city. So it's very, very uh, for a musician it's very precious that uh, a city has its identity in a sound like a bell sound because you know it is for the survival. Uh, and, and you may see and you may find some very precious uh, fragments of medieval music manuscripts. Uh, so, since, since Kursek is in, in the western part of historical Hungary as well, uh, there is a knowledge of, of that all the values, even manuscripts, was, was uh, pushed uh, from the Turks in the safe places like Kursek. Uh, and here we have some very precious uh, manuscripts, uh, which means that music was in a safe place here in Kursek. So these are those precious um, fragments of, of very valuable music manuscripts. If you just uh, <coughs> look on the right, you know there will be a sound walk. Do you know that? Tomorrow afternoon. Yes, it's an alternative study tour. And in the sound book, uh, I will be in the church, in the historical uh, square of the city, and I will sing Gregorian songs for the feast of tomorrow. And, and this fragment here. <laughs> So this is a Kursek uh, fragment of manuscript, and this song is for today, uh, tomorrow's feast, exactly. So I will sing this as well. Okay, musical heritage. Uh, as a church musician, it's very, very interesting to enter into the main church and then enter into uh, in the tower and, and see uh, this kind of wardrobe packed full of, of music scores have never documentarized or categorized and, and uh, have uh, never performed for 100 years. And uh, it's very precious to, to see. So these are not only scores, they are documents of, of, of uh, citizens' life like Stefano Kinch, uh, Abati, Ginzi, Parocco. So he, he, he was, the, was a very precious uh, priest uh, in Kursang, and he was a, a poet as well. And uh, 
This Petrus Dona was the Kapel, Magister Capelli, the church musician here. And, they, uh, and this, is a, this is an homage mass composed by him in honor of this precious priest, and so on, uh, and so on. Uh, so this is a yeah, historical uh, uh, picture of, well, they are soldiers, I suppose, yeah. because there was a, a military school here, a very famous one. And in the, uh, yeah, you may find two gentlemen without the, the hat, <coughs> him and him. I think it, it speaks that they are not soldiers, they are, they, they are teachers at the military school. So my hero, the church musician, this Petrus Dona, is in the middle without the, you know, the head, because he's, he's not a soldier, right? He's, he was the music teacher in the school, and he was the, the uh, leader of the choir and organ player and composer in the church. And he played violin and, and, and composed church music, hundreds, hundreds of, of, of opuses, and he composed uh, music for uh, entertainment orchestra and so on and it's, it's very interesting to go into the archives find find a, you know find a, an address on a score that may lead to the house of this uh, gentleman so yeah so this is again identity and and, and people are uh, behind these music scores and you yeah this is so this is Twinger, right we are just beneath this building. There is the church down there, and this is the house of the church musician. So I'm, I'm yes. And this is uh, his wife owning this very beautiful hundred old year uh, music score. And this is his list writing who was performing his piece. And here, if you see this, Tipka Ferenc, Zweima, two times he was performing uh, on violin, his piece. Uh, as far as we know, Tipka Ferenc is, was the mayor of the city. That was I was mentioning. So the mayor of the city was a famous violin player. Uh, and even this Tipka FR, probably Franz, his name was carved <coughs> into St. James Church. Uh, this, this is, you know, the, the furniture on the chorus. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very interesting. It's, it's full of carving of names who were probably in the church choir or were or was allowed to go to the organ, and the, 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 they were the musicians who was allowed to. So maybe he was singing or playing the violin in the church ensemble as well. Uh, and if, if, we, if we come across that in, er, in earlier times, these citizens here were so active, maybe uh, we can show it to, to recent uh, people and students that what can be done in a city like this. Uh, even mains can be created. So this is a, this is a, a back side of, of a, a score in the church music archives. Because since this Peter Donner was a teacher, probably he could bring uh, paper material from the school, uh, from the, you know, the graphic lessons. And uh, you may find someone, this Gabo Stivadar, a student there, who was asked maybe to, to draw his ideas on a, it's, it's a Hungarian folk tale. <coughs> yeah. And, and, and I like this. So this, is a, this is a white pig, okay? And the one is no. The white pig is attacking uh, John Strong, or Strong John, yeah. And his, his teacher is writing, not on Sergrat, as I know. Well, this pig is it's very square. <laughs> <laughs> so. So uh, this, this square <coughs> pig I named it as a square pig became my, my main in, in, in Kursak, which is, so I think you, you feel what I'm meaning with this square pig, who is, is from, a, from a student's uh, drawing lesson and goes into the church, you know, uh, to become a backside of a score and so on. And even there is, 
probably you can climb up into the tower on Saturday or today regarding to the... Well, if, if you have the opportunity, uh, you, were, you will be amazed that uh, the bell ringer, I don't know what is the word for the other, who, who rings the, rings the bell, you know. The bell ringer. Okay. The bell ringer, okay. <laughs> so it, it was his own micro-universe up there, up there in the tower, because he was, you know, putting on, yeah, 100 years and 12 years ago or some. And he was putting on, on the posters of famous bars. Uh, this is the order how to ring the bell, and, and uh, yeah, and, and uh, text from, from a newspaper. So it is very interesting to live under the bells. And uh, just, just, just one slide uh, of, of civic or civilian music. Probably uh, the string orchestra formed of teachers, as, as I suppose. Is it military military musician? Military musician too. And the uh, the <coughs> the bow bass player was uh, a bank attendant, and yeah, and uh, I think lawyers mm -hmm. lawyers the the two um, the head of the of the orchestra Stuhl lawyer he was a lawyer and his son <coughs> with the same name was a, a, a lawyer too. The mm -hmm. others I, I, you can see a Benedictine priest in the, in the, there, and he, he uh, played the harmonium. It was a, a kind of uh, theater orchestra, actually, mm -hmm. with, with piano player, harmonium, and string. Yeah. Let me introduce my very precious colleague, Uwe Scher, who lives here, and probably you have heard him yesterday leading the string orchestra. So all, all these is pictures and, and, and music is, is his uh, research, so he's, he, now he, he's a good example because uh, he was not born in Hungary, but he lives in Kursek, like Donald Peter, he was a Czech, uh, yes, and, and, and he, and they <coughs> does a very lot uh, to re revive, uh, Kursek music revival, okay, uh, <coughs> yes, uh, eight minutes. So what we are doing today, we are, are uh, proposing this new brand, Sounding City, uh, which as you may read, uh, has three different fields which come together in this new brand. How we research the history, how we organize festivals and workshops where the old music can be played or heard and uh, how we tune the city to to tune the city with sound uh, yeah, some, <coughs> some videos will be shown in a minute about this so it will be uh, explained better than, than, than words and how we uh, develop new games uh, which, which encourage people to, to get into music in any way. Uh, yes, you, you may find those in, in, in a slide later, and, and if you go to Fertu this evening, you may find my other colleague, Vata Dania, with whom uh, you will see what is the auto choralion. This is a or the new instrument in the same time. Uh, okay. And can you define that in sound? Yes. Uh, there are beautiful urban soundscapes. The, the basic soundscape in Kyrgyzstan is silence. <laughs> really. so, uh, I haven't imagined that I, I will ever hear the sound of an urban surveillance camera. You know. Surveillance cameras are on, on, on the yeah, poles. But here you can uh, hear in, at the evening how it turns. <laughs> I was out one, one evening, total silence. Oh, total silence. And oh, what is the, the tiny noise? Oh, crickets are, or um, grasshopper. No, something different. So I had to 
find out this very sound. And this is a surveillance camera, amazing. You can hear a surveillance camera, crazy. But you can hear more beautiful sounds here. Yeah. gives a very drumming sound, which is, uh, well this is an image, image video of our Sounding City Festival, the first was in, in two years ago, and the third will be had in this late August, yeah, well the, the music is, is not from the festival, those young guys who made this video did a very good job. Uh, it was the idea that we, we should uh, bring out the music from the concert halls, as you may see, in the courtyards, into the squares. And all those musicians who were, who were out in the squares or in the open air space, of course, gathered into a, a night nice concert, into a courtyard, the Custer's courtyard. And in, during the daytime, yeah, no temporary dance, dancers was invited. As well, <laughs> and, and you may see there not there is not, not a crowd in Kyrgyzstan. And the first time I was well, maybe it would be better if, if more people would have this experience. But, but later I feel that maybe it's not that bad if there is not a crowd in, here in Kyrgyzstan. You know, slow tourism or, or micro tourism can be a very good. Uh, Yes, uh, <coughs> so this is, this is uh, actually you will experience this passage uh, as well on Sunday. So how you, how you walk through different spaces and come across with different uh, soundscapes. This is the basic idea of the Sounding City Festival. How sound and how movement interact with puppies, okay? <coughs> or if you walk further from the main square, you can experience how a soundscape changes. From the back there is the, this, this saxophone, and if you, if you walk, there's a new soundscape approaching. Yeah, and so on. So what we are doing here, this festival, we are organizing workshops uh, first it was a church music workshop, it will be uh, expanded into uh, master classes, but all comes uh, with improvisation and all comes with, with uh, music going on uh, out to the, out to the, even out to the forest. It was last year when we were putting together a, a, a baroque little opera with Uwe and, and, and her pupils in the forest on or and the, and the recordings of other uh, music composed by, by Uwe. So music composition and music uh, heritage is, is, is still going on. Uh, well, this is another game, but I think uh, we don't have time for this, what are, else we are doing here. Just, just, just a hint, your name is your identity and I have this, this uh, 15th century originated game and the time is over. 
where every vowel represents a sound of the diatonic scale, like, you know, the ut re mi fa sola or do re mi fa sola, okay? So you can play with it. If, if you see an E, Institute of Advanced Studies, it, it represents a me, right? So your name or every text can be easily, like this, transcribed into music, like Institute of Advanced <laughs> Studies, <laughs> Okay, and then interpret Europe because it is a very good, yeah. Interpret Europe. <laughs> so this this can be the sound of interpret Europe. Interpret Europe. Ta da! Feeling feeling very very vivid and very yeah. Okay, this is and. Uh, and to finish, uh, how uh, an architect uh, can be sounded. I won't play this. Uh, you are very welcome to my, my uh, sound book, which requires your mobile phone and an earphone and the downloaded material as, as an audio guide, because it must be had like this. And if, if, you, if you come with me, but if you ask me or contact me, or contact the reception desk, you may download those, I mean, there are eight MP3 files and a little PDF with a map. So you can walk anytime, because that will be the given uh, spot where you start, and which is the route. And uh, except that there will be a live performance of me singing in the church from three o'clock uh, on Sunday, except that you will have the, the sonic experience uh, whenever you you want, okay? And, and even you will hear the music of this city well in this audio soundbook. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.